January, we're focusing on child-proofing your home. The reason being is that 8,000 families a year uh, suffer a child death due to a preventable injury, and about 9 million kids end up visiting emergency rooms across the country because of an injury that could have been prevented. So we're going to take a look at some simple things, some that cost a little bit and others that cost absolutely nothing except for your time to, to change a behavior or to change something around. The most important thing, of course, start off with making sure your home has working smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors. And actually, carbon monoxide detectors go in the exact same locations as, as, CO, as smoke detectors, in hallways leading to bedrooms, in bedrooms, in sleeping areas, in living areas. Any kind of medications that you might have, anything, whether it's uh, prescription or over-the-counter, make sure you keep those things in their original containers and then what room you choose to keep them in, that you keep them up high and out of a child's reach. Now, our, our hazardous area in the house, of course, is that science lab that lives underneath your kitchen sink. The one thing to keep in mind is that household products, no matter how lethal they are um, or how green they are, do not come under the Federal Packaging Act. So medications that have child resistant caps those are not required on any types of of solutions that are used in the house so you can do a number of things there are products that only cost a couple dollars that go across the latches that all you need to do is move them up and down when you want to access it these locate on doors and drawers so that when you close it it latches and if you don't want to spend any money you just take those items and locate them to a higher shelf one that only you can reach.